Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In today's video, I'm just going to show you how to host a Discord movie night on a PC or laptop. If you find this helpful, please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So to do this, you can actually do this via the Discord app or the web-based application. It's all down to personal preference, but the steps are exactly the same. In today's video, I'll be doing this via the app. So what you want to do is just go ahead and log in. Um, and obviously to do this, you want to make sure you've got your own server set up. So you can see I'm logged into my Digital Tutor account and I'm just, I've got a server. So I'm just going to go and give that a click. And what you're going to want to do is make sure you've got a voice channel set up and a text channel. Um, and what you're going to want to do is get everyone to join the voice channel. So you could make one uh, just for your movie night and you could call it something like movie night. Like so. And you just want to make sure that's set to voice channel. And then click on to create channel. So you can see I got one set up there for movie night and then obviously you can go to your text channel and just put an announcement out that you're going to host a movie. And what you would do is just get everyone to jump into this channel like so. And once you're logged in, what you're going to want to do from here is actually click down here where it says uh, screen to share your screen. And you've got two options. You've actually got applications and screens. So what you would want to do is actually click on to so you've got like Netflix, like the app downloaded, then that would be shown up here. So if you're showing something from Netflix, you would be better off clicking on the application. Sometimes when you click on screens, the sound doesn't always work properly. But yeah, all you would do is say, for example, this was Netflix. I would just give that a click. And then you would go ahead and uh, set this all up. So you can choose the resolution. Um, it's actually 720p, but you do need Discord Nitro if you want to display in full HD at 1080p. And it's the same with the frame rate. It will display at 30 frames, but if you've got Discord Nitro, you can set it to 60 FPS. Um, obviously, you've got your stream quality down here, which you can change. And then once you're happy and that's all ready to go, all you would do is come down and click onto the blue Go Live button down here. And you'll see what's going to happen. It's going to pop up with a screen like so. Um, and we're going to have this uh, live symbol next to my name. And anybody that joins this movie channel will now be able to go ahead and watch the movie that I'm hosting. So that's how you do it. Um, so I hope you did find that helpful. If you did find that helpful, then please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel, there is a link in the video description down below. If you go and give that a click, you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.